Hey, uh, let's talk about CSS positioning. Let's begin by creating two boxes. I'll use a div element. Let's name this first box, box one, and create a second box, box two. Let's also create a whole lot of paragraphs because we'll want a scroll bar. So if you need some sample text, you can type lorem and then tab. Okay, so copy this line and paste it maybe like 10 times. That should be good enough. And let's copy all of these paragraphs and paste them underneath our boxes. Doesn't really matter how many you have. We just need a lot of room to work with. Okay, let's design these two boxes now that we have a lot of sample text. Let's begin with box one. I'll give this a border of one pixel solid, a height of 300 pixels, a width of 300 pixels, and pick a background color. Any color is fine. Now let's style box two, and we'll make this smaller, 100 by 100 and a different color. I like tomatoes. So there is a position property where we can format the layout of an element. There's five that we'll discuss. Absolute, fixed, relative, static, and sticky. Static is easy, that's the default. Any element that is positioned statically is in its normal state, so there's no change here. Now relative we can move this element relative to some point of origin. The point of origin of box one, our blue box, is the top left corner. And there are offsets, top, bottom, left, and right. If I would like to displace this element down to the right by 50 pixels, I can set the top offset to 50 pixels or some other unit of measurement, and then offset it from the left by 50 pixels as well. So this does create an empty vacuum of where this element was, so think of this as a reserved space. Take a look at this. What if I were to set top and left to an even greater number, like 150? This element will cover other elements underneath, so that's something you need to take into consideration. Or we could do the same thing with box 2. Now box 2 is displaced, and this corner, the top left corner, is the point of origin. Okay, now let's discuss absolute positioning. Any element that is positioned absolutely will be taken out of the flow of the document. So with box two, let's set the position to absolute. So you probably noticed that all of this text is running underneath this element. It's as if our document is ignoring box two. It's kind of like it's ethereal or a ghost or something. And if I were to set a position, I'll set the top to zero then this box appears at the top of our document. And here's the reason why. Any element that is absolutely positioned will search for any parents that are positioned non-statically. If it does not have a parent, it will instead use the viewport. We're setting the point of origin for box two to the top left corner of our web page because it doesn't have any direct parents that are positioned non-statically. Now, if I set top to 150 pixels, then the point of origin is the top left corner still, and it will be pushed down by 150 pixels, and maybe to the left by 150 pixels as well. What if I would like box two to be positioned in the center of box one? Okay, what I'm going to do is make box two a child of box one by placing box two within box one. However, box one is positioned statically, that's the default. So I will set the position to maybe uh, let's say relative, and let's uh, set top to 100 and left to 100. There, box 2 is now within the center. And the cool thing about this is that if I move box 1, box 2 will follow and stay in that same place. It's positioned absolutely. So let's set the left offset to maybe 250. There, and box 2 is staying in the same place. Then maybe the top by 250 as well. That's kind of the idea behind absolute positioning. It searches for a parent that is positioned non-statically, such as relative or some of the other positions I'm about to discuss. If it doesn't find a parent, it uses the viewport. So we'll keep box 2 right there. Next, we have fixed. Fixed will stay in position of your viewport. So even when you scroll, it's going to stay wherever you set it. Uh, let's set this in the top right corner. So top, 0 pixels, and right. 0 pixels. So this box will stay in the top right corner of my viewport. So that is fixed. And lastly, we have sticky. 
Anything that has a sticky position will stick to an edge of your viewport when you scroll past. So if I set this to top, then this element is going to stick to the top when we scroll down past it, but currently it's in its normal place. But when I scroll past, it will stick to the top of my viewport, and then when I scroll up past it, it will snap back into place. Or we can set this to the bottom. When I scroll up past this element, it will stick to the bottom, then snap back into place. Or we could combine them both. So if I scroll down past this element, it will stick to the top. If I scroll up past the element, it will stick to the bottom. So that is the sticky position. So yeah, everybody, those are a few positions in CSS. If this video helped you out, you can help me out by smashing that like button, leave random comments down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.